Right, and I think we are live. Good evening, everybody. Thank you very much for tuning in, and welcome to a very special five-player game of Undaunted. Well, it's actually going to be a four-player game. I'm not going to be playing the game. This might actually be the first ever live stream that I've done where I'm not actually playing in the game. Uh, tonight, we're doing a four-player game of uh, Undaunted Reinforcements with all of the people at the top of the screen that you can see, and we'll introduce them from left to right. First of all, one of the designers of the main game, Mr. David Thompson. Good evening, sir. Hey. Glad to be here. Thank you for joining us. Uh, David Thompson is playing the US tonight and he's joined by an absolute expert in the game that I think has played the game more than anybody else <laughs> or couldn't remember how to play the game earlier on today. Uh, it was one of those two. Mr. David Turtsy, good evening. Hi, it's good to be back. And no, I am going to be a, a severe... Uh, Ball, I had to change the angle of Thompson and uh, bringing him down. But I'll do my best to do it in a fun way. Uh, on the Germans tonight, uh, we have the other co designer of the main game, Mr. Trevor Benjamin. Good evening, Trevor. Hello, hello. Or, or good afternoon, where you are. Uh, no, I'm, I'm in the UK. Are you in the UK? All right, I wasn't sure. Yeah. Are you over in Cambridge then? Yeah, I am, yeah. Ah, right, okay. Um, and you're joined by the co-designer of the solo mode. Is that the fair description? Yeah, apparently. There you go. <laughs> apparently. <laughs> so, yes. Yeah, so Trevor and David Digby are going to be playing the Germans. Um, so, for those people who don't know, Undaunted Reinforcements, which I have a physical copy of here. I think we've all got our physical copies of it. Um, is an expansion to both Undaunted Normandy and Undaunted North Africa uh, and it's in a big box so you can actually get everything in the box from the two previous boxes um, and it basically expands both games, introduces more scenarios, introduces a solo mode but also introduces rules for a four player game which is what we're going to be doing tonight. So we have got set up for the first scenario uh, of Undaunted Normandy that is the four-player game. And what I'm going to do, for those people who don't know the four-player game, I'll give you a very, very quick overview. But basically, what you do is you divide... There, there is a special setup, as you can see here, for a... For, for, oh, no, that's the two-player setup. Here we go. Very special setup for a four-player game. It tells you, basically, which players have which cards, um, and the supplies are different as well. So each player is going to have their own deck of cards, but each player is also going to have their own supply, and you can only take cards from your own supply. Uh, one of the players on each team starts off as the commander. They will be the one that determines which side has initiative, uh, but that commander can change during the course of the game. Other than that, the game plays pretty much the same, but if you've only played Undaunted Normandy, I will tell you that we're going to be using some extra stuff tonight, because Undaunted Reinforcements in the box actually has rules for tanks in Normandy, which weren't in there before, so you're going to see those rules. And there are also specialist riflemen. We're going to be using the specialist riflemen tonight. Uh, you can never start with the specialist riflemen in your deck, but they start in your supply. Here's one of them. Uh, and when you are uh, bolstering, you can choose to take the specialists if you want to. So you're going to see a few new things tonight. Um, but other than that, let, let's, let's go into the scenario itself. Um, which is scenario 101, the battle for Mortain, and the objective for both sides is, is the same, which is to control six objective points. We have the Germans starting up in the northwest corner of the board. Uh, they don't start in control of any objective points, but there's, there's plenty of them in this area. Uh, the US start down in the bottom right. So I'm not quite sure why we've got the cards where we have, considering the US are on the left, but they're actually on the right, but never mind. <laughs> uh, and the US are down here. Now, it looks like the US have a much harder time of getting to some objectives. There's a, there's a lot less objectives nearby. Um, so a question for David Thompson and uh, Trevor Benjamin. Presumably, you, you designed this scenario together. Is it harder for the Americans to get the objective points? We're, we're missing, we're missing an edge, two objective point here. Ah. That, that would be... There you go. Ah, there it is. There, there you go. Hide in. That was when I moved the tiles around later on. Okay. So slightly easier then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, it would have been... It would have basically been impossible, I think, if, if right. it had been there. Yeah. Okay. 
Uh, so Trevor, that, that 20 quid that you sent me earlier on for hiding that counter, I'm, I'll yeah, send it you back. I, yeah, I'm going to have to get that back. Yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll send you that back later on. Minus the PayPal fees, obviously. Um, <laughs> right, so if, if we're good to go, then, then let's make a start. So the commanders of each team start with four cards in their hand. Uh, and the players who are not the commanders of each team start with three cards. And that is because if you know the, the main game, the commander is going to bid one of those cards secretly to be the initiative. Uh, and it's only the commander of each team that does that. So if you pop your initiative cards face down on the table. Give me a second because I'm questioning whether I even hit resh uh, reshuffle before I do my cards. Because okay. I'm just going to turn you all up a little bit because apparently you're a bit quiet. There you go. Let us know if that is any better. Um, I've turned I've turned all of the guests up a bit. Okay, how do you play this game? Uh, pick a card, put it face down on the table. There you go. And whoever picks the highest number of wins, right? Highest number wins initiative. If it's a tie, the team that currently have initiative keeps it. And in this scenario, let me just check. Let me just check. It's the Starts with the Germans. 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 Yeah. Right, okay. Right, there we right. go. The Germans start the initiative. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should be brave or dumb. I'm good. Okay, once you've played both your cards, reveal them. And let's see what we've got. So we have a five from the Germans, and an eight. It's an eight. Right, okay. So those cards go to your respective discard piles. Oh. Americans have the initiative. Uh, so, Turti, you take, you, you take the first turn, uh, and you play your cards one at a time and take various actions. Uh, and then play will pass over to the commander of the other team. Then it will be Thompson, and then it will be... Um, so who's the commander on the Germans? Is that Digby? Me, yeah. Right, okay. That's so it'll be Digby, Turtsy, yeah. Digby, Thompson, and then Trevor. So, uh, when we're setting this play up, we promise to have a big uh, strategy talk with uh, thumbs up so I don't ask stupid questions during the game. So if you want to give me a one sentence advice on what to focus on, then... Well, I'm yeah, about... you know, I've got... I've, yeah, I've got a squad and both tanks right so i'll go i'll go for this i'll go for this big building here the church probably and okay. um if you want to if you want to go try to grab the bridge and i will support you with one of my tanks so i'll bring um probably the sherman up and and sit it somewhere here to pr provide you suppressive okay. fire. what's your view on is it worth it to bring the sniper in to lay down some Pew pew early, or just get better starting turns so that we don't lose. I think if, if you have a hand that you can rush to the bridge early, that's probably a good play. Okay, that was the keyword I was looking for. In that case, I'm playing the platoon sergeant for the command, not for the bolster. And then I am drawing two more cards. I believe. just can I just throw in a counter proposal for your strategy? Um, yeah. If you hunker down, hunker down your platoon sergeant. <laughs> yeah. Will do. I think I read something about it on an online strategy guy. Guy, that, that's the dominant strategy. Hey, Paul, can you mute Trevor? Uh, I can. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, then I am gonna play a rifleman B. Okay, so where's rifleman B? Rifleman B moves on here yep and then i will play squad leader b and i will ask my learned colleague to tell me whether i should quickly take control or stick my head even further out of the bushes well you this can't is not scouted so you yeah. can't get there yet ah, you'll need to scout it with the scout. Um, yeah control that one yes yes i actually knew that rule um in that case, I think I am going to bolster a few riflemen into my deck. Mm -hmm. so, so you can take any two cards from squad B. And remember, you can take the specialist ones if you want to, or you could just take the, the standard one. I believe if I understood the rules correctly, then there is no reason not to take the specialist because it's not weak. The only, the, yeah, it, this is super 
be all, probably beyond the scope of this play. The only reason you would not take the specialist early is because they're more vulnerable to early attack, right? Okay. Yep. Oh, in that case, let's head my bets. Let's take one specialist and one non-specialist. So technically, those ones. Uh, so I might pick up a scout as well because. Yeah. So this they... is your discard pile. Uh, this is your played area. It yeah, is different. Sorry. Good point. And yep. I managed to put that. Right. Sorry. First time playing this game with TTS. Both the first time playing this game. And I'll, I think I need to pick up a scout as well because I somebody needs to scout that way too. So done. And then Still I'll got two cards left. Yep. Amazing turn with right. that and with that. So what happens is the platoon sergeant actually goes to Thompson's discard pile and the, the, the leadership passes. Okay, right, over to the Germans. Digby first. Cool. Uh, so scout uh, to recon that fog of war out of the game. Yep, drawing the nice. replacement card. There are things. There are things. It's worth mentioning while while they be thinking about that that you know in the real four player game we can have those discussions about strategy or tactics or whatever, but it all has to be out in the open. Yeah, so just like we're open. playing it is how is how people would play the, the yeah. physical game. Although, of course, I am sending lots of strategic tips to Digby um, <laughs> uh, over, on, and, and over in uh, Discord, but none of you can see it. So. I, th I thought you were using Carrier Pigeon. That, that'll that get to him. Uh, right, while I'm making a decision up to do what me other card, I'll play me Rifleman A. Uh... Yeah, if you, you, uh, you, if you head down, I'll head over towards here. Because as they've just told us, there won't be any tanks over here, so I'll send mine over and then smush them. <laughs> yeah, it's just what I do with my final card. So, Scout B is going to go that way. Okay, and that's already scouted, so... Yeah. Okay, cool. so you're all done. So over we go to Thompson. I'm going to uh, play my scout A here to mm -hmm. scout this position. Okay. So I will... I will put the... the... I'll put the token on oh, it thank, if you want to take you, the Fog sir. of War card. Yep. And then um, my Sherman. So, uh, Turksy, I'm going to play this Sherman. Um, I'm just going to bring it up to here so it's closer to them so that... I can better support you from there. I'm a little more vulnerable, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. And then I've got a fog of war. For those people who haven't played tanks in Normandy, the way that they work is they've got actions very similar to others, um, but they have um, their defense value. If you look at the counter, their defense has got a, a, a line around it. That means they can only be attacked. Uh, they can't be attacked by normal attacks. They can only be attacked by anti-tank weapons. Uh, suppressed has no effect on them. And their attack back... They've, they've got two. So the Sherman itself has got an attack of one, or against other tanks, it's got an anti-tank of two. So, uh, Right, so now it's over to Trevor. Right, okay. Um, I'm going to send my rifleman from Squad C over this way. He can go over and control that eventually. Um, I've got a beautiful panzer. Nice. Now... now uh, this Sherman's just a bit too far away, I think. So, um, yeah, I think I'm going to, I'm just going to scoot him over here for now. Next time. Next time, Thompson. <laughs> and then, and then a fog, and then a fog of war. Fog of war. So that's, yeah. No. So unlike the infantry, which are divided into squads A, B, and C, the tanks actually have icons on them to tell them apart. So if we look at the Germans, they've got two panzers. Uh, but one's got the circle icon on it, and one's got the uh, the diamond on it. So that's that's how you can tell them apart. Right, and that is the end of round one. So we go to round two. Um, again, commanders draw four cards. Non-commanders draw three. And then we have a bid for initiative. Keep reporting that. <laughs> I moved the wrong panzer. 
<laughs> oh, right. Okay. <laughs> I, I, amateur. No, well, 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 thank you. <laughs> okay. Next round. Right, let's reveal those cards. Oh, nice. we, we have a bit nice. of one from both sides, which means okay. the Americans keep the initiative. Uh, <coughs> let's, let's play it out this way. So we're going to have Rifleman A. Mm -hmm. He's going to move here. Yep. I'm going to have my tank platoon commander use the advance ability. So right. he can move a tank to a position where there's a, a unit. So he's going to move this steward. And then I'm going to have my squad leader inspire. So I would pick up my rifleman A and then play him down again to move him into this position. Okay. So advance is a new ability. It's not a move. It's not a scout. And it allows you to move, but only to a place that has one of your units in. Is that right? That's right. Yeah. And I could have moved, if I had two tanks in that place, I could have moved both of them. You can move any number of tanks that right. are in one position together in an adjacent space that's occupied by a friendly unit. Right. Nice. Okay. Cool, that's done. Right, back over to Digby, commander on the German side. So, Trevor, I've got two two choices, really. I yep. can either go down the route of using the likes of the mortars and the snipers and just choose at everything, or I can try and have a bit more of an interesting turn this turn and see how far it can get us. What do you reckon? Oh, yeah, that's a good question. Um... Yeah, go go for the go for the exciting ten turn with don't don't think about the future. Just play <laughs> play, play for today. Play for today. Okay. We'll see how it goes. So um platoon sergeant, um, which is gonna come over to your discard pile, wherever that is. is that there? Oh yes. Yeah. Um I'll command. Cool. So you draw two cards, um, yeah. Which time from the deck. Come on. Exciting. Okay. So we can scout B. Nice. To get across there. Have you got the doofers, Paul? I can do it. So one in there, one in there, getting you two fog of war cards. Yeah. Uh, and then I can inspire Scout B. Ooh. Oh, wow. Look uh, at that. He's inspired. See, that's on you. <laughs> yeah, that's... Thanks for taking a hit for the team there. We're three fog of war. <laughs> <laughs> and the Scout is a little bit vulnerable now, sat there on the bridge on his own in a zero defense area, but he's done his job. Yeah. He's yeah, exactly. Right, over to Tootsie. No, I've still got two cards left. Oh, you've still got two cards. Sorry, I didn't see that. About whether I should care about the future or not. I can join my uh, dangerous living colleague on the bridge and play a quick game of, you know, punchy punchy. <laughs> you can, as long as you've scouted it. That rifleman at the moment cannot move to the bridge. Two. Nope. Oh, here we go. Well, hang on, David's still taking his turn. Oh, sorry. I, I said it. I said it was your go, and I'd forgotten that Digby had two cards in his hand. I'm, it's fair to say that David is always taking his turn. That's <laughs> true. Seventy-five <laughs> percent of the time. Yeah, seventy-five yeah. percent. The question is, what to do with this last scout? A. Uh, don't forget, there uh, is the hunker down, which I've recently used to good effect in a previous game. Or just conceal, conceal yeah, Thompson. Yeah, conceal's good. I, I mean, basically, I, you know, I, or, yeah, you know. yeah. I think conceal Thompson is the answer. Oh come on, <laughs> that's always the answer. It's always the answer. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's me done. Okay, okay. right. Off you go then, Tootsie. You're going to move scout B to the bridge. I will scout the bridge. Whoop, whoop. Okay, so you get a fog of war card. Uh, this one into that deck, into right? Into your discard pile, yep. And, uh, dear commander, do you see a bad idea about putting my rifleman on that bridge too? No, if you can take control of it before he does, that's the best possible situation. 
Yeah. Because once somebody controls it, you got to kill the, you got to get the person off the bridge. Well, I can't con take control of it now, but I can put my dude there and hope to draw a rifleman before he gets a rifleman. But then I'm not controlling that, so somebody has to come back and say hi to that later. Mm. And then my last card is, and for anyone who counted the deck's nose, is gonna be a funzy. Where should my reign of terror be promised? Hey, we have a mortar. Other bridge? Maybe, maybe on the bridge, yeah. Yeah, that's Yikes. what I'm seeing. Make them, make them pay the price if they want it. Yikes. Uh oh. And that. I believe it's my turn. Okay. Okay. Right. Over to so, Trevor. Uh, Digby, I've got a couple options. I could get my tanks, both my tanks advanced to this space, which is good, but yeah, so I could get both both our tanks here poised to, to wail on these guys. Um, but yeah, the question is whether or not is going to be able to get control of this first. That's that's the concern. Yeah. Um, although, although, to be honest, there's not... I can't... I could... Uh, I could try to suppress him from here, which is pretty far. He's a four, five, six, seven. I mean, I could probably hit this rifleman. Um, so that's the other option. I could suppress him now, grab some more tanks, bolster some more tanks... Yeah. Should we do that? Okay, yeah, let's I give think, it a go. This press is... Yeah, Probably we gotta we yeah. gotta stop him. Okay, okay, so I'll I will play the panzer. This is this so, is the circle panzer. So it's, so press, it's this suppress guy here. three. Three dot yeah, suppress three and it's one, two, three, three. Yeah, three spaces plus the four, so seven. So I need Seven's seven. Needed. Come on, baby. Come on. Sevens. I'll do. Yep. Yay! So that's suppressed. All right. I'm going to grab um, two copies of this forward position panzer. So they want the diamond wow. panzer. And then I've got. Okay, here's another question, Digby. So I've got the, my scout who's here. Since you've run off into all the scouting, an honorable man you are, I <laughs> should I? I could either um, come down. Like, do you think you're? Is the I don't know what the plan for this rifleman is to do other than probably die. Like, is it worth me? To come... <laughs> well, control and then run away. But <laughs> yeah, yeah, control and then run away. So I could I could come down here to give him a place to go, and then also maybe be able to take pot shots at this rifleman or something. I don't know. Anything. Yeah. Okay, we'll, we'll do that then. So he's coming okay. down here. I'll get the counter. I take, and I take a horrible, horrible fog of war. There aren't that many left. <laughs> and that is me. Okay. So, All end right, of the round. Round. Next round. Next round. So for those people who are watching who've only played Undaunted Normandy, um, the rules have changed. They introduced the rules change in reinforcements, which retrospectively acts for Normandy. And it's about control. So in the original version of Normandy, um, you weren't able to control a tile if the enemy was there. Now you are able to control the tile if the enemy is there, as long as it is currently uncontrolled. So at the moment, this tile here is uncontrolled, which means even though the enemy is there, either player can control it. But once it's controlled, you can't just take it off the enemy unless they don't have any tiles on the board. So yeah, if you are playing... Um, Normandy, you should use that new rule. Right, have the commanders played their initiative cards? Not yet. I will... Mm. All right, let's give it a go. Ready? Yep. And one. Yep, okay. six. Americans keep the initiative. All right, let's take control of the... There you go. Here. So that's two points to America. Yeah. Okay, Turksy. So I got the Sherman. Um, do we suppress this rifleman here so that you can have longer to take this bridge? That's probably what we do. The alternative is me take a shot at the Panzer just so we can't keep suppressing you. Um, 
Let's see. What I didn't pay attention because I never pay attention to what Trevor does. What is he? What's that? Uh, who has squad A and who has squad C between them? Uh, uh, Trevor has squad C and he's taken a bunch of this panzer. Is that right? I'm trying to figure it's, it's out. It's the other one. It's the other one. You've taken a bunch yeah. of this guy. So he's got a ton of this panzer in his deck. Uh, so he could just keep, if we, if we don't shoot him, he can just keep pinning you over and over. So part of me takes a shot on the Panzer, but the other part of me says just take the don't take the Rifleman suppression. I've already bolstered my Rifleman once, and I haven't bought a lot of cards, so my deck is pretty... That's pretty elite. Okay. Which well, means let's that do this. he needs three cards where I need two, whereas the Panzer, if it keeps suppressing me, I will need a lot more. Okay. All right. Well, then I'll just I'll just take a shot on the Panzer. So okay. it's no, no. it's uh, anti tank two, two. And what am I shooting here? Four, five, six, seven. Oh God! Two dice needing a All seven. Right. Miss, 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 seven. miss, 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 miss. Yes, it's a seven. It's a, it is a. It is a seven. You, you add them up, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. I think it's in the back of my rule book anyway, in uh, in 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 wet ink. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. Okay, then this Stuart right here is going to suppress this rifleman. So that's three dice. Yeah, and that's a four, five, six. That's a seven as well. Yeah, got it. There we so go. That rifleman is suppressed. Yeah, uh, with a big target on his head. So that is, yeah, he's that's bad news. Mm. Okay, that's it for me. Okay, so um, here we go. I'm gonna grab two of my two of my riflemen, um, and I will grab both the pretty ones. So these guys have submachine guns, which means they can um, attack with two dice when they're in the same space right, as the close target. Right. Yep. Oh God! Is anyone, those my, those my, cards have gone invisible for me. <laughs> me too. There they go. There they go. There we go. Okay. They're back. Uh, then I've. Then the Panzer is going to return fire. Okay, so that is unfortunately an eight shot for me because you've got yeah. better defense. That doesn't seem fair. Well, it's also got five armor instead of four. No, exactly. Who def who invited the Americans? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. So five, six, okay. seven, eight. eight. That's Canadian, sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I need an eight. An eight. Come on, baby. baby. Got yes. it. Yeah. We have our first hit. Take so that, Sherman. Have to remove a Sherman circle from hand. If none in hand, one from the discard pile. There we go. That is gone. All right, so and then in, in the dead pile. I've got my little scout friend here. Now, what do you think, Digby? I could take a shot on this rifleman. It's a far, it's a six shot. If I hit him, that's good. But it's yeah. a six shot, which is a 50 50. The other option is just conceal Thompson, because that's always a good choice. But um, <laughs> I don't know. What do you think? I'd, I'd take the pot shot. Take the pot shot. All right. F coin flip. Come on. Got it. Yes. Yeah. So one take hit on Rifleman A. He's vanished. So we'll have to do it for him. <laughs> oh, there he is. Oh, is Thompson gone? Thompson, could you try and get shot a little less often? <laughs> it was Rifleman A, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry, guys. I had to. That's all right. My two my kids just got home from school and they didn't know I was on, so they were acting like hyenas. It's okay. Rifleman A, uh, the card has been removed from your deck. They got a, mm -hmm. a lucky hit. Yeah. Okay. So now it is Tertsy. Yep. Okay. So let's start with the fun. So oh, wrong button. The fun button being the mortar button. Yay. Oh, no. oh god. So Not you've previously cool. used the target action. You're now using the blast action, is that right? Well no, obviously I'm moving just kidding, obviously I'm blasting. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm rolling one die and I need to roll a four on it. Yeah. Because it's, it's just the defense of the unit plus the defense of the area. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't, I don't trust these fancy digital dice. 
clearly scripted by the enemy. Hey, oh, See, oh, come on. on. <laughs> These guys are made in Germany. That's the problem. I, I think somebody's playing pinball and just nudged the table a little bit then. So, yeah. Okay. Then the obvious bit is the rifleman reactivating itself. Yep. Boom. And then the question is should I conceal or should I pot shot? What this are is, your feelings on the matter, Tom? This is Scout B, isn't I don't, it? I don't. Yeah, I mean, you can. Yeah, it, if you're worried about his scout taking a shot on your rifle, maybe you just shoot his scout. Otherwise, I would conceal. Uh, that We've got is, the stick. That is Digby's scout, and he hasn't uh, taken his turn yet. But there's a scout in his discard pile. For those of you that know the scenario or might have designed it, how many scouts does he have? Yeah, that's just a three. It's three. Yeah. Yeah. But he's got, he's, but I mean, so yeah, they're, got, they're both there. So that is his only scout card. So you don't have to worry about that guy. He's about to shuffle. So you, he could have him next turn. Yeah. So don't, don't have him before the shuffle. So then, then should I conceal? And if so, which one of them? I mean, uh, Digby has probably. a pretty stuffed deck already. So making it more stuffed might take him out of the equation a bit. Sure. But it That's also fine. might make Trevor a bit too good. Trevor's now, got all those all those tanks. I'd say mm. just I'd say just conceal Trevor. Okay. Conceal Trevor it is. Okay. Oh uh, i got I it. I mean I I've punished the big day enough in this life for <laughs> handing over the <laughs> all the scenarios to test the him so. Right. You all done? So it's now Digby's go. Yeah, I've got a nice quick turn. I've got a fog. A rifleman A. Rifleman A is here. Yeah, I've already done it. And rifleman B. Don't go on the bridge. <laughs> oh, <there's> the tank. <laughs> What's we done? Right, Next so round. rifleman A has moved. Did rifleman A, was he already there? He was suppressed. Yeah. Oh, he was suppressed. Right, that's it. Okay, next round then. Commanders, play your initiative cards. I have faith in you, Commander. Hmm. Okay, let's do it. Okay. It's a one. Uh -huh. And it's a one. And a one. <laughs> Americans keep All initiative right. again. Let's do well. Let's play. Let's play the game right. All right. So squad leader A is going to bolster two riflemen A. I'm mm -hmm. going to grab both my uh, grenadier riflemen, and my tank commander is going to bolster. He's going to grab two Shermans. Uh, and then we we'll make sure I've got the Sherman that's out on the board. Yeah. Yeah. And that's it for me. I've got a fog of war. So that's interesting because the Americans actually start with the Sherman counter, not yet deployed. And the Germans have yeah. actually quite a lot of units not yet deployed on the board. So the way you get them on the board is that you bolster those cards into your deck. And then the first time you play the card, it will appear at one of the, are they called rally points? I'm going to call them rally spawn. points. I think it's spawn point. Spawn okay, spawn points. Uh, and then they will get to take an action. And the, the spawn points are defined by the scenario. So in this scenario, the German squads A and B will appear here. Squad C will appear here. The tanks will appear here. And the sniper in the water will appear there. Right then, so it is Thompson's go first. I just went, yeah, I'm done. Oh, right, yeah, you did, sorry. Um, it's yeah. Trevor's go. All right, so I'm going to rush with my... Ah, uh, do I control or do we run for the bridge? Oh, no, I'm, I'm going to control. We can't, I just can't run past okay. these places. So it's and currently 2-1 uh... to the Americans. Okay, and then that's the tank the circle pans are over here so what do i do i could take the suppress shot again what do you think worked last probably... time yeah that's probably so be seven again or seven again isn't it four, uh, four six, five six seven yeah yeah three, yeah that's, three that's... dice needing a seven come on baby 
No. No. That's ten. Nice. Nice. No. Oh, okay. Fine. Nice. All right. That's me. It shows that I spent the entire afternoon practicing for the game. <laughs> uh, right. Who's next? Uh, it's Tursi next. Come on, Rifleman B. You sure? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Rifleman B, I'll oh, give you one. Oh, yeah. Look at no. that. Four points to America. I'm making it very hard for the Germans to get control of that now. We just got to fall back and grab these and we're done. Then I'm going to recon this fog of war into the kingdom come. Yep. Drawing a replacement. Drawing another card. You said something about if we take these, the light command. If we take these two spots, we win. Okay. What? Well, How many rifles? Oh my god. Yeah. This is cool. <laughs> That's the These thing. Are both my riflemen, so my next four cards aren't. Early bolster of the <laughs> rifleman with a thin deck. Yep. Oh, this is bad news. Right. right well, me done. All right. Uh, yeah, not 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 as interesting a turn, I'm afraid. <laughs> oh, 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 those fog of war cards that you took—they're hurting. Now I've got one rifleman B, which is probably the unit I didn't need. Right. All done? Yeah. Right. Next round. Could, All right. Uh, could be a quick just... game. We've not had a change of commander for a while, have we? Going to no. have it soon, though. It's coming. It's coming. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Ready. Five. You, you got it. Well, all right. All right. Okay. Initiative right. has changed. Here he is. Soon, Sergeant. Okay. I'm actually. I, I, I'm going to do something that I said I was going to do at the start. I'm actually going to give myself games master privileges, so anybody watching the stream can now see the cards in each other's hands. Hopefully none of you four are watching the stream, but yeah, for those no. people watching, you can now see the cards in everybody's hands. All right. Well. I wanted to watch the stream because I love beating the people in the chat, but I didn't because <laughs> you told us that you've been out It turns out you haven't been, so I could have been beating the chat. Hmm. It's too late to deck build. I just got to hope for a good draw. So I'm going to command two. All right. So that, here you go. You're, you're now um, El Capitan. There, Digby. Draw two. Come on, something good. Two Fog of Wars. Thank you, Jack. <laughs> um, oh, God. Um, I have to stop him. So that's a five, six, seven, eight. Blech. I could... It, okay. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to advance with my Panzer here then take the suppress shot with the second one so that is a seven now it should be five six going seven, for this rifleman seven. Five, yeah six. yeah i've got it you cannot whoa 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 what negative you can't advance into a space that has nobody in it i didn't advance sorry i was using the oh, term advance just move them okay okay <laughs> yeah, I will, yeah. get out of here get out of here no no i will move him forward <laughs> Sorry. Okay. okay, here we go. Seven, seven, seven. Yes! Oh. Take that, Rifleman B. And then, yes, the two Fog of Wars that my command, uh, the, the platoon sergeant, commanded. Thank you. All right, that's me. Okay. What, what cards are these? Oh. Why is there an... Is that your... Was that your... That's this card, card, maybe. It must be. We've got something quirky going you... on with the mod because cards are going yeah. invisible. <laughs> wow. That does not happen with the real copy, folks. No. <laughs> Weird. Oh, it's like a it is, it's a, it's a card that has a back but no top, so we'll Just... we'll set it up here. Okay. Weird. Um okay. I'm gonna command two. Okay. 
Let's recon this fog of war. Squad leader A is going to grab two more riflemen A. Sorry, I'm mixing discards and play area. All right, and then uh, rifleman A is going to start moving back. And we're going to have the platoon tank commander park this tank right on top oh, of the no. good, good job. Good luck taking that back. Yeah. This is bad news, Bear. Mm -hmm. All right. That's it for me. Okay. Right. Well, a small amount of good news is that Rifleman A is not dead. Yay! He that. He's done his Woo! job. It's three points All to right. Germans. And then the squad leader can inspire him to move forward. Uh -oh. yeah. Excellent. Excellent. We need six. Then, okay. All right. And All right, then the do. scout A is going to... Have they got any fogs left? Yes, they have. We'll conceal Turtsy because he's got the rifleman. Yeah. Nice. Can nice. Woo, woo. All right. So that's three, four. Right? If we can grab two more, theoretically, we can win without touching without their bridge. bridge. Yeah. So if I can just rush my rifleman C and grab both these, fingers crossed. Yeah, my rifleman B is going that way as well. So. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Excellent. Not all, all is not lost. Mm. Did you get your fog of war, Tertsy? You did. Cool. Oh. Yeah. Thank you, uh, David. We are Tertsy. I forgot to give you the platoon sergeant. Good call. You know, Tertsy, you don't get to draw six cards, right? Just because <laughs> you're winning. I don't know what happened there. Who gave me those things? Yeah. cards? <laughs> Especially since some of them are Shermans, so... I don't oh, no. you, drew them. you drew my... Card. No, I did not. Oh, they, you took these three cards. Yeah, I don't know when and how, but the pair I did. There are the Shermans back. Okay. Okay, right. Tertie, you'll sure. go. Excellent. I am Fella Bolster. I believe the order of the day is rifleman till the wall, right? Yeah. Because I've already bolstered the scout once, which is going to cover my recon needs. For yeah, a bit. We don't need to recon anything else. Yeah. Was that I mean, not the end of unless the round? you wouldn't recon. I thought that was the end of the round, because I had the last turn. No, Thanks because the... uh, Trevor, won, Trevor won initiative. Oh, You've got initiative. Oh, Trevor won initiative. Okay. Yeah. Right, I'll back up my sleep. I'm gonna bolster that rifleman, and I'm like, I I don't want to jinx it, but I do want to bring my sniper in before the game is over. <laughs> <laughs> and then that concludes my marvelous turn with a lot of focal force. Right. Okay. Now that's the end of the round. Next right. round. Now I can do four cards. Yep. That is not going my way. That's what I'd like to hear. Right. Let's reveal those initiative cards. Come on. Now's the chance. Damn. Americans have seized the initiative back. Could be bad. And my plan with this amazing initiative that we won is to do nothing. To, to go to the pub. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> is there Fine. something that needs to be guided on your end? Um, yes. If you can guide this rifleman here, that would be good. Yeah, that's bad. Then we've got two. <laughs> oh, God. It's like, like you, you understand that I am sacrificing my sniper for you to win the game. Aww, <laughs> that's true love. <laughs> and then I will continue the strategy that I devised last turn and play to more focal force. <laughs> nice. It worked I last time. The exact same two focal force I just discovered. Okay, scout to recon a focal force. Good, good, good. Hmm. Uh, Rifleman A controls that one. Yes! Woot woot! That's four. Four of six. Four 
Scott would be Scott Lee B. Bolster B. Rifleman. Interesting. Okay, we got it. We got a chance here. We got a chance. Yeah, yeah. So it's oh. four apiece. Oh, I know. Not okay, for so... long. This oh no! Roll this. No! Okay. Let's do a fog of war, and then let's have this Sherman. He sees this nice juicy. Oh, they got two rifleman targets right there, doesn't he? Yeah. Okay, hold on. Let's actually look at the board here. Oh, uh, they each have. They each have two cards in the supply. Squad leader B just took B's, so I'll suppress C. I'll suppress rifleman C. Okay. So the Sherman tank is going to try and suppress. There it is. C four yeah. five needing a seven. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. You got it. That's okay. It. Yep. Yeah. That's it for me. Oh, sorry. There's rifleman C. Okay. Yep. Uh, he was about to do C. something good. Yeah, and then I'm going to have to... I've got my Panzer. Now, the question is the advanced Panzer. Sorry, it is the Panzer, the Diamond's Panzer, which is in a forward position. I won't use the word advanced. Um, <laughs> that caused trouble last time. So I've got options. I could... I could suppress this guy, so he can't... is right from an A, so he can't get move in. Or I... I think we have to go for the rush, so I'm going to hit the Sherman, I think. Because then he won't be able to keep suppressing us. And it's a pretty good shot. He's on a bridge. It's yeah. Empty, like yeah. The, it's a zero. So that's a that's a six shot with two dice, which is pretty good odds. Come on. Yes. Mm. Take that. Take that, Sherman. And then a beautiful fog war. I'm, I'm sorry. Our strategy doesn't need die rolls. Ooh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Oh, that's, a, that's, a, that's a burn and only amongst gamers is that a burn yeah. euro gamers um all right is that it yeah new round next round Oh, we next round. Sorry. Yep. Could be all down at this shuffle. Yep. So the current situation is both sides are on four points, needing two points to win. The two points that the I Americans have, have got their eye on are... Pardon. The two points that the Americans have got their eye on are these two here, with uh, riflemen in position, one of them suppressed, I think the Germans have got their eye on these two. Unfortunately, they're on five. They're on five. Oh, sorry. Right, they're on yeah, five the, points. The they Americans already got already gotten... Yeah. So the Americans only need this one to win, uh, whereas the Germans... Oops, wrong button. Germans need to get their riflemen into here and control both yeah. of them. So, so uh, looking like the Americans yeah. have got the advantage at the moment. Right. So initiatives. Yeah. Oh, wow. And the Germans have got the initiative. Oh, here we go. Uh, don't flip the tiles. Yeah. <laughs> Let's lock them in place quickly. There you go. Right then. Uh, right, Scout A. Uh, what is Scout A doing? For a war. Nice. Come on, come on. Rifle men. Rifle men. <laughs> no. Well, well, yes. But not the one you were hoping for. Ah. Um, so I think Rifleman A takes a, a seven shot. Uh, this one? Yes. Or, yes. Yeah, it's, yes. Yeah, it's yes. got to be done, hasn't it? Yeah, it's a seven shot on Rifleman A, isn't yeah. it? Okay. Well, for you then. Got him. Oh. So Rifleman Ooh, A from hand, hand if you have one in hand. Not one in hand. So one from your oh, discard pile. Yep. <coughs> Good. Okay. Um. Hold on. Uh, 
Okay. Just making sure I've got the the right number. I'll take one of the not because I they're all in my discard pile, so I can you take can whichever one I wanted. So I choose to take the not machine yeah. uh, grenadier one. Yeah. Okay. All done, David. All right, Turksy. Digby. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Turksy two riflemen for the win. Yeah, rifleman A inspire rifleman A. I, no, I, I rifleman have B even. Amazing strategy, how to win, but I have to defer to Thompson's superior expertise. So two rifleman it is. Yeah. So Yay! first first card, oh! first card unsuppresses right. him. He wakes up, stands up, and plants a flag in the ground and gets six points. There you go. Congratulations. Done. However. Never Moral... killed anyone. We are very pacifist Americans. Moral victory goes to the Germans because Tertzi didn't get his snipers out on the board, which he said he wanted to do. So. True. That's true. Yeah. I, yeah, I, think, I think we just suppressed you guys one time. We weren't even trying to hurt you. Yeah. You just forced us into suppressing you. Mm. Yeah, it's interesting because both sides don't you need to advance speedy American. that much in order to get those those six points. So. Yeah, yeah, that was, that was a yeah. It was a, everyone went for the for the rifleman rush? Yeah, yeah. Should have gone for the snipers. Should have gone for the snipers. Next okay, time. right. So the plan yeah. now, before you all disappear, who's watching this? The plan now is that Turtsy and Digby are going to disappear, uh, and then we're going to do a quick chat about Undaunted Stalingrad, uh, which is the next expansion, which was announced this week. Um, which David Thompson and Trevor Benjamin have been working on. And yeah, we're going to talk about that. So, Mr. Turtsy and Mr. Digby, thank you very much for joining us. And I will speak to you both later on if you can leave your discords running. Um, but I will make your videos disappear on the screen. Speak to you hey, later well. on. Hey, well, nice. so, thank you. One, Next time one. with snipers. Next time with snipers, yeah. Turtsy and I have <laughs> never lost a game when we played together, ever. We should do this more. <laughs> Bye. There right. we go. That's that on there, and that's that on there. Right, excellent. So, yeah, rather than rearranging the windows, I'm just going to leave that on screen. And I think David dropped his Discord. Yeah, David's dropped his Discord. Oh, no, he hasn't. He's back. Right. <laughs> so I can eat in peace. Right, okay. Uh, let's get that sorted. And... Yeah, it's moved people around. It's all right. I'll sort that out in a minute. Let me just move. Oh, no, you're back. Right, okay. So, Undaunted Stalingrad was announced this week. The big question on my mind is when am I going to get a copy in my hand? So, that's the first question is when is it going to be out? Fall, um, fall or fourth quarter. That's, the, is, that's all we know. Okay. Yeah. So, this year, but the end of this year. Yep. Yes. So in time in time for Christmas. Hopefully, yes. Yes. Hopefully, it will be. Okay. Now, <laughs> shipping, yeah, shipping guards willing. Yeah. So yes. my knowledge of World War Two is not as much as either of yours, but I know Stalingrad is of great importance. So when Stalingrad, I mean, to to be honest, I knew Stalingrad was was coming because David, you you told me about it many months ago. It was no surprise that you were going to cover the Stalingrad area. Is it is it an obvious choice to cover? Was it was it like a no-brainer or were there other decisions that made you choose that? Uh, yeah, so I think you know we've 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 said publicly that the the two most requested theaters or air, you know uh, theaters of, of World War II have been Pacific and Eastern Front slash yeah. Stalingrad, right? And when, and when people asked for Eastern Front, oftentimes they specifically said Stalingrad. Right. When we decided, um, the decision from Osprey was, hey, we're interested in doing this, at the time, legacy style game, which thankfully okay. we've decided is going to be this resettable campaign. Right. But when the decision was made that it was going to be this this campaign style game with the branching narratives, and it made sense to base it all in a singular location. Right. right. And so if you think you know, singular location, Eastern Front, there's one place that immediately yeah. comes to mind, and that's Stalingrad, right? Yeah. You can play this long, multi-month, drawn-out battle for, you know, every every battle as you're gaining 10 feet or whatever. Yeah. Stalingrad makes a lot of sense. Right. It's interesting. I didn't actually realize that the, the, the request came from Osprey 
to you two to create a, a campaign style game in it. Now you've mentioned the word campaign and you've mentioned the word legacy there. Are, is it an actual legacy game? Am I going to be writing something? Am I going to be stickering things? Or is it fully resettable and playable multiple times? Yeah, it, it's the latter. So it started okay. life as a le it started life as a legacy game. Yeah. Um, but so you know, we we were originally planning stickering the cards, writing on things, the whole nine yards. Yeah. But um, but sort of throughout its development, we sort of decided that um, I mean, for a number of reasons, that we wanted to shift to, um, you know, to to basically a re a resettable game, right? right? Because you know, we wanted people to be able to play it. Multiple times. multiple times we wanted yeah exactly and you know be able to switch sides and explore all the nooks and crannies so right. we decided to shift shift to this now but you know it includes many of the things which you think of when you think of a legacy game so there's yeah there's no destruction but you know it's branching narratives you've got persistence like you know like the the your, your soldiers change um your the 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 board changes so it's it's got a lot of the same sort of things but it's it's yeah it's resettable or it's okay like a green legacy is there is there sometimes yeah. called so the next question yeah. is how many games will make up a campaign then Ooh, we don't want to tell you the exact I, I number okay yeah <laughs> we can say up up to 15 is what we're allowed yeah. to say right um okay. yeah one yeah. thing i do want to say real quick on the on the legacy topic though is it, i think it's important for for people, maybe not. Maybe people don't care. I think it's personally interesting for people to know that Trevor and I went through the entire design process, designing it as if it was going to be a typical destructive legacy game. Right. Right. And so what I mean, I think the difference there is when you think of a campaign game, maybe the changes you're, ma you're making or whatever are not as impactful or profound. Mm -hmm. And so we designed it with the intent that it was going to be this singular legacy, meaningfully different choices and stuff. Right. So I think people people wind up getting the best of both worlds, right? Yeah. If that yeah. makes sense. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Now I've read online, which means it must be true, that this box is the size of a house with a hundred new tiles and a thousand cards. To tell us Tell us what you're allowed to tell us about what's going to be in this box. Is it going to be huge? Uh, so I don't know the exact dimensions of the box, mm -hmm. but it it has a lot. So like, I mean, it, it, this is this has been stated publicly. You know, if you go you go okay. and look at Osprey's website. So there's 375 cards and right. 120 and 129 tiles, which is yeah, yeah <laughs> sig significantly more. Right and I mean, and yeah and the sorry go ahead. no 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 go ahead I was just saying like so there's yeah what is it how many are there in Normandy twenty in Normandy tiles. there's eighteen tiles and in North Africa there's twenty two yes. right so if you think a yeah. hundred and twenty yeah. tiles it's yeah. like yeah and and p part of that I mean we won't go into any of the details but part of that is handling persistence right because yeah. the, the 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 you know if if you know anything about Stalingrad, you know that basically the whole city was leveled. Yeah. Right through, through throughout the campaign, so um, that that's what the tiles are. I mean, yeah. obviously it's it's still a big area, but that's that's a big chunk of what the tiles are right. doing is is man managing those changes to so the one landscape. one particular location in the game might have three tiles for that location, and at a certain point in the game, when that building gets blown up, that tile is gone, and you forever use tile seventeen C instead of seventeen B. I'm just guessing here. Or, yeah, perhaps. <laughs> for how, for example. <laughs> you know? Yeah. The, these aren't leading questions. I don't actually know the answer to these questions. So I'm just, I'm yeah, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just no, hypothesizing no. as to how this would work. So. Well, no, it, it's when, it's when the, when, you know, in this 11th scenario, when the Cthulhu come. Right. Yeah. And they build a, and they build a base. That's, so we need to, we need to mark that with the top. Right. So that, okay. That, it's for it's for handling the Cthulhu surprise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Halfway through the and and yeah. Red Skull brings the Tesseract Cube in as well. That's that's it, chapter five, I think. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, over the over the course of Normandy, then North Africa. I mean, North Africa had some different keywords in it because the Theater of War was was different and the scale of the game was different. But then with reinforcements, you've introduced more keywords. 
Is there going to be even more in Stalingrad, or is it going to be reusing mostly the ones that we've seen before? Uh, go on, David. I'll let you get in trouble. <laughs> oh, I mean, there is new stuff. Okay, there is the, new stuff. stuff right, that, stuff that it's not. It's not just. It's not just that we've sort of repackaged, and we're going to have new scenarios and persistence. Like there is brand new thing mechanic gameplay options that right. players have never seen before. So, okay. yeah, keep new keywords with that, yeah. And that isn't presumably just because, oh, it's a new thing, so let's throw in new stuff. You've taken things that actually happened and you've thought, right, this particular thing that Stalingrad, that happened in the battle or in the battles, this currently isn't covered by any of the games so far, therefore we're going to have to introduce something new. Yeah, I mean, I think there's, I think it's a lot of things, right? I think that that, you know, for sure... How do we evoke the feel of Stalingrad? And there's right. some specific things that had never come before that we needed to happen, right? So, so for sure, to make it a game that felt like it was Stalingrad, we had to create some new things. I think yeah. also, just from a purely practical perspective for me and Trevor, like we don't want to just make the same game over. Right. And so we want to explore new things from a gameplay perspective. And also, rightly or wrongly, there's an expectation that most of the people that are going to play Stalingrad probably have some insight yes. into normandy and so we have some ability to push the system further than it had been pushed before right but again because you know and just like with the other games because it's a because it's a um a campaign game you know we're able to start quite familiar because like you know we have to assume we have to assume that I don't, who knows what percentage 20 percent, 25 percent of the people will have never played an undaunted game yeah. before so we don't want to we don't want to blast them with a hundred new things but you know we can we can especially as and especially that this is this sort of whatever you want to call it legacy style thing like you know we, we do layer on a lot of stuff as, as the game progresses right okay and, and 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 so in addition to okay so i guess in addition to the um the sort of historical elements of wanting to add in new stuff that is critical to it being stalingrad and us just wanting to push the system there is something we can say is that like you know, it's not just the landscapes that's changing. It's it's your it's the the forces that you're controlling, but also okay. the individual the individual some of the individual soldiers are changing. Right. Right. And so w what that means is like if you take a rifleman who starts in scenario one, to make them change that rifleman change as the game progresses, we need to, to add things that okay. you know like. They might, you know, get better at some things, yep. get worse at some things, and so we had to introduce like mechanics to make that 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 sort of persistence and that narrative work. Right. Um. So 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 we added some. We've added some stuff just to try to like, you know, what what is a rifle? What is a you know a rifleman who's more experienced or or yep. a rifleman who's been wounded or whatever? Like, okay. what what does that mean? But is the scale of the game still the Normandy scale, where it, the counter on the board represents a squad? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 So. So. Yeah. So each each card is an individual. Um, right. Yeah. I had another question, and I've forgotten what it is now. I'm going to have a look at the chat and see if anybody in the chat has got any any questions. Um, but I, I have one question that I know that you're not going to be able to answer while we're live, but you can tell me later on about future Undaunted expansions. This is not the end, is it? You can say that. This is it. No more after this, we're done. <laughs> no, there's more. There's, there's, more. there's yeah. more, right, there's more. We obviously can't. I mean, I'd say, yeah, I think it's that, I think there was two things that, that, that will determine whether there's more Undaunted, right? If people keep yeah. buying Undaunted, and if, if, like I said, Trevor and I feel like there's new and interesting ways that we can push the system, right? Yeah. Those two things have to be true. Yeah. Oh, I remembered what my question was. Stalingrad is a standalone game, isn't it? Yes. Right. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Because I'm thinking so you, that the two forces involved in Stalingrad, obviously, one of them has already been covered in Norm Normandy, but the other one hasn't been covered yet at all. So it's a standalone yeah. product. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's enti uh, yeah, entirely, entirely separate. Yeah. Uh, one question in the chat. Will it be strongly asymmetric? Huh. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, well, I don't know, but maybe I'm not supposed to say that. Well, I, yes. But, I think that, yeah. Because yeah. at and, the start of Normandy, a lot of the scenarios are, I mean, all, all the map layouts are obviously different, but the, the objective for both sides, like in the scenario we've played today, has been both sides have to control six objective points. Yeah. 
and both sides have riflemen that do roughly similar things and scouts that do roughly similar yes. things. Obviously, with North Africa, it introduced, there were definitely some, some asymmetry. Is there going to be more asymmetry in what the units can do in Stalingrad, if you're allowed to say that? Um, well, it's a tricky one to answer. Okay. What, also, what I will say is that due to the nature of it being this, whatever you want to call it, le legacy style game, mm -hmm. the asymmetry will be incredible by the time you reach the end of the campaign. Right, okay. Because the narrative will lead you in different ways, will give you access to different things. Mm -hmm. um, the fact that your individual soldiers are changing. You might start with a group of riflemen that are, you know, equivalent to the beginning. Yeah. But whatever happens to the riflemen in my squad A and the riflemen in your squad A okay. will be will be totally different. Right. Do you so see some, what I mean? So even, yeah. yes... And some might be more some... skilled in close combat, or some might be better at hiding, or something like yeah, that. Okay, it, exactly. I mean, it's, and... it's also important, like Trevor's saying, there's some, there's, there's some, there's asymmetry. It's probably closer to Normandy asymmetry, I guess, right? Because there's a lot of asymmetry yeah. in the scenarios and stuff. But, but one thing that's important, if it's not already apparent from what we've said, is that when you play through this, you could play through it and then replay through it, and it's going to feel very, very different. Right. Based on based on what happens in each scenario, the decisions you make, like all that stuff, is going to make each playthrough, independent of the side symmetry, right? Like right. feel very different. Okay. Uh, there's another question in the chat, and I'm assuming the answer to this is yes. But will there be vehicles in the game? I don't know. We can talk about that. <laughs> yeah. um, I'm not yeah. sure. Mm -hmm. Like tanks and things um, like that. Like we've had tanks. There's, there's, there weren't tanks in tanks Normandy. The cover of, there's tanks on the cover of the box. I don't know. Okay, <laughs> so <laughs> so there you go. If there's tanks on the cover no, of the tanks box, tanks on the cover of the box. Yeah, yeah there we I go. That, that's a good answer, David. I like it. <laughs> um, right. Question about player count. Will it be two player only, or are the four player rules going to be included in there now that you've done them for reinforcements? It's two player only. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's two player. Okay. I mean, we so you know, but this question's in, is in the chat too, so we should just go ahead and get ahead of it. It's not that, that was the follow up question but, about solo play. Yeah. Um, yeah. So so I think it's important to explain why that is, right? So yeah. one, I mean, what at the very beginning when Osprey came to us and said we wanted a legacy game. If you think about it. There's, I mean, I, I don't think there's any other two-player specific legacy game. Maybe there is that I don't know, but but as far as I know, there's not, right? There's multiplayer legacy, there's co-op, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. There's no two-player legacy, which we we one thing we think that is a good thing about that is, you know, it can be kind of difficult to have a multiplayer, whether it's co-op or competitive game, that's legacy where you get all your people together and you play it over and over, right? Yeah. But people, you can sit down at, 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 for one night and play through three or four rounds of Undaunted, right? Right. If you're because you're only playing with one other person, so we thought that was a strength. So on the on the the two player versus four player, four player would just been way too complex. It'd been way too hard to to do all sorts of things. We'd have to try to figure out how to make this emergent stuff work with four players. Right. Um. On the solo side, it's I know it's difficult because everybody loves the solo stuff that yeah. David and David have done, and it's fantastic. The problem is that like it didn't. There was no, if you look at the solo system they came up with, which is amazing, clearly, um, it doesn't fit the idea that this everything's going to be super changeable, right? Like, there's no yeah. way to simulate what's going to happen there. And so, um, yeah, it just didn't follow with the, the sort of design goals and principles that Osprey had provided us and that, that, honestly, Trevor and I thought about the two-player experience. Yeah. I mean, you were explaining this a bit to me yesterday, and I fully understand that and for those people who don't know, the solo rules in reinforcements are, for a lot of them, they are specific, uh, a, a specific set of like flowchart or what you must do for a particular unit in a particular scenario. So a scout in scenario 13 has these specific instructions and they are done because of the map layout and where the objectives are. In a legacy game, your game four is gonna be different from my game four because that building isn't there in my campaign, but in your campaign, it might have, you know, extra shielding and being used as a, as an, or something like that. So it would be almost impossible. Well, it would be impossible to have 
a set of instructions for the solo game for every single enemy unit for every single possibility of how the map could turn out it would just it just wouldn't work so and i think that's the thing that you're saying with this game is that you know you're going to set up for scenario four but that setup of that scenario is going to be different based on what's happened in scenarios one two and three so right. yeah okay uh, another question in from the chat and this is an interesting one this system that you've got for undaunted it suits the world war ii setting have either of you had any ideas about whether to change it into another war setting either world war one or going back even further or is it just suited to this one i mean yeah it's <laughs> yeah uh, it certainly could be used in different, in different right. contexts it certainly okay. had and and we have we have talked about it okay um but yeah i think that's um yeah i mean there, there's there's go ahead david sorry no no i was just gonna say i mean yeah the, the problem is that like you know osprey i think rightfully so has you know we've been putting out one undaunted game a year yeah. right and so if you put out one undaunted game a year and people still want eastern front and pacific and so, i mean there's no yeah. You know, you haven't tapped, you haven't, you haven't already tapped the things that people desperately want for World War Two, and yeah. so sure, it could absolutely be applied to other things. But yeah, it's it's so, it's a challenge. It's just a challenge of of you know how much material do do people want to support and how much can we produce? Yeah, I mean, I don't think there's any. You know, you could be producing undaunted World War Two games for the next ten years, and you'd still be finding parts of the of, of world war ii to to focus on yeah um yeah. which yeah. which are interesting in their you know in their own sort of unique ways so uh scott has got a question not specifically related to stalingrad but might the system be adaptable to more than two factions so in other words a three-player game with three different sides or a four-player game with four different sides maybe i mean was there any situation any battle within World War Two where there was actually more than one side that was operating independently? Um, well, I can, it's it's difficult to think. World War Two, for all its its greatness in terms of like providing thematic background, it constrains you in the even if there's multiple forces, they're almost always going to be arranged in teams, right? right like yeah. there's not really a scenario where that. So if the question is like a multiplayer, uh, everybody's by themselves. I think you'd have to find a different setting. Now yeah. the game could support it, no problem, yeah. right? Like clearly, you could you could absolutely come up with the to answer the actual question. Yes, you could you could have multiple factions. You could have a multiplayer game. It would function. It's in that one regard, the World War II setting is it's constraining a bit, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, there's another question in from Zane, which is a really good one, and, I, and I'm I'm guessing the answer to this is yes. But can you have multiple campaigns going with the same copy of the game? Ah, good question. Because uh, if it's not well, legacy, well, uh, yeah. no, it, you okay. could, but you, but it it, it is designed to like the, the. I mean, part of the reason why the box is so it's designed for you for the box to do the heavy lifting of basically right. rec recording your campaign. State. Okay, so this tile so, once it, the once the building's destroyed, tile seventeen B goes in this part of the box and then you take this tile out yeah. and put it right yeah. okay so exactly. if you were to write so down you, notes you you could do yeah. it but you'd have to write yeah. down a lot of notes okay yep yeah, yeah. so if yeah so yes is, is essentially the answer you could you could it take it would take, it would take a lot of work <laughs> um apparently on tabletop simulator there is a star wars undaunted mod have either of you seen it and have disney got in contact with you yet about producing a star wars <laughs> undaunted game <laughs> We, so we, we 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 joke about this because if you if you look on Board Game Geek, um, under the un, un, um, Undaunted page, yeah, there is a uh, I I can't remember the user's name, but he's made the most amazing looking Star Wars um, right. reskin, and it's like it is the most thumbed um, okay. Undaunted uh, <laughs> thread in BGG, which is is both amazing and a little bit sad for yeah. us. Yeah. Um, but but yeah, it's it's beautiful, and and as he clearly saw, it would work perfectly well. Right. Um, as for the question, has Disney approached us? Not yet. No, yet. But if they're watching, you know, <laughs> come, come, come talk to us in Osprey. 
Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we, we'd be happy to oblige. Yes, yes. Um, <laughs> another question in, will it have a longer setup time than the base game? Like, are the maps bigger uh, and things like that? Or? Okay. I'd probably say, given the way that the... the no, it's the same, if not maybe even a bit shorter, okay. I think, actually. Actually. Because the way that the your your state is recorded, yeah, that um, it's it's actually, and, and the, the the way you manage your supply and stuff is is actually quite a bit, probably a little bit faster. So right. certainly no longer. So it, no yeah, longer. it won't be get all of the counters out of the box, and no. then use these ones. It will be take all of the counters out of this particular part, which is what you saved from the last game, and you just use that. So you're not having to hunt through all of the tiles. You're just using certain ones. Okay. Yeah. Uh, next question from Christopher Boyle. I'm glad he's asked this. Um, and I know this is not a question that you can answer yourselves, but will the insert support sleeves? Uh, yeah. This. Okay. So we're, I'm just going to tell you this. So yeah, um, we were prepped on this one. Oh, right. You and, were. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yes. And the answer is Osprey has heard. Yay! Um, and yes, yes, the plan is the the the, the for for um for for uh for that they will it will support sleeves. Yeah, yeah. Although I just wanted to, I just wanted to say you can put sleeves in the um on uh reinforcements box too. Okay. There are lots and lots of there are threads on Board Game Geek with people have pictures. So right. a, a lot of people went out and just started slicing up their insert. Yeah. Um, to fit, but yeah, you can do it. It's a squeeze, but it's doable. Yeah, I um, uh, yeah, I, no, no. I I removed the insert from my own my reinforcement spot because I've sleeved all of the cards. Um, but obviously with the late with 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 Stalingrad, I don't want to toss the insert because it sounds like this insert is going to no. be it's going to be essential to managing the yes. game. So yeah. yeah, thank you Osprey for yeah. for listening to everybody. Uh, yeah, I mean I was sending seventeen emails a day. They probably got sick of me. So um, yeah, excellent. Yeah. Um, uh, Anthony from Osprey is in the chat. He's saying if anybody who's listening to this works for Disney, um, then just just give Anthony a shout. Um, yeah. Yeah. Happy to talk. Happy to talk. <laughs> yeah. Uh, is there any questions that you wanted me to ask that I haven't already asked? Is there anything you want to say about? Stalingrad that we haven't covered already. Is it done? Is it is it all designed and it's all finished and it's now with Osprey? Uh, yeah. Right. Yeah, so, okay. Go ahead. Go ahead, Dave. Well, well, I was going to say. So um, it's funny because I posted uh, li the link to this video in a Facebook group or something. And I said, "Hey, this is I'm excited about this play or something." And somebody said, "Hey, that's awesome. You know, can I play test Stalingrad?" I was like, "Oh no, 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 no." Right, uh, Osprey. <laughs> can, can I play test Stalingrad? And I and I said no. Osprey runs a seriously tight ship when it comes yeah. to scheduling. We yeah. were done like a year ago. Our design right. part was way done, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. And, like, and like we we've moved on. So I mean, because they, you know, it's not a Kickstarter. Like it, it when yeah. it's it's when they announce it, it's 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 good. It's, so, it's going. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there's some development work as far as like fine tweaking some stuff or whatever but as far as the design it's been done for a long time yeah. right okay like i don't know if i should say that. i don't want to give too much about the awesome but like you know before this call i was looking through files right so like they're you know it's way past play testing and development this right. is, like it's yeah. it's packaging up the 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 files for for, for printing like that, yeah. that's where we are and, that's yeah. where we and are. a lot of people watching this yeah. are thinking well hang on a minute if the design's finished and osprey are wrapping up the producing the files then why are we not going to get it until december things things take time um and yes. you know especially at the moment um you know production costs have gone up but also uh production has has been a problem there's the shortages of card and things like that in in europe so you know osprey are very good at announcing it and it's going to be out at this time other companies might announce it for the summer and then in the summer say oh i'm sorry it's late because you know, our printers run yeah. out of paper or something like that. So, yeah, they, they yeah. as you I say, mean, they... I mean, just just look at just look at what happened to reinforcements. And again, this is not like yep. this is this is the whole the whole industry, not and obviously many many other industries. But I yeah. mean, reinforcements was supposed was supposed to come out. Um, when was it supposed to be last summer? Last summer, and yeah. it's only it's only come out you know within the last. Uh, when I don't what was it two couple months? Couple of months, yeah. 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 It was November something yeah. like that. So, yeah, yeah. Yep. So it's it's you know 
you can't. And and I just wanted to say, like, there's still a lot of work. <laughs> Anthony's probably cursing. He's like, it's not done. <laughs> like, yes, yeah, so there there's there is still a ton of work to get all of the files ready. Like, yeah, it's yeah, not, yeah. it's not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That there's just a huge a design, amount of work. Just a design. Yeah, from yeah. from a design from a design and develop of like design yeah. perspective. Yeah, and as somebody who works in that part of the industry, I know all too well how long it can take once the designer has said, right, I'm done with it, here you go. And you're like, yeah. oh, I got to be. <laughs> and then you find some quirk and you've got to go back and get, yeah, yeah, I know what it's like. Um, but anyway, I think I think we're pretty much done. I think, I think we've gone through most of the questions in the chat. Um, so it's just to say thank you for your time and uh, for joining me and obviously seeing the four-player game being played, that was fun. Um, but also thanks for giving us a lot of information um, on Stalingrad. I'm going to end the stream, but I'm not going to turn the Discord off because then you can tell me all about the next one. I promise you that I will mute everything and make sure we're not live so you can tell me about the next one. I, I Yeah, I, I only agreed to the, doing this video tonight if you told me about the next expansion, so there you go. <laughs> All right. Th thanks a lot, Paul. And thanks, yeah. everyone, for, uh, for, for joining in. Thanks a lot. Yeah, cool. Thank you very much, everybody, for joining us. Take care. Uh, we'll see you next time.